In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through the exact step-by-step -step process on how to create a killer real estate campaign. So if you're a realtor watching this or an agency owner, make sure you stay to the end so you can implement this strategy and get great results. So let's get into the video. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you coming back to watch another video before we get into anything in our strategy for 2023 to get our realtors great results. Click that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, comment down below. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2023 and I think we can do it, but I need your help and I need you to click that red button. So do me a favor, click the button before we get into anything. If you're new here and you don't know who I am, my name is Carter Vincentini. I'm 20 years old and I'm the co-founder of Versatile Agency, a full service real estate specialized marketing agency working with realtors across Canada. But this video isn't about me. I'm going to show you guys how to actually get results for your clients. If you're a realtor watching this, I'm going to show you how to get results within your own business. So let's get into the actual tips and tricks. So there's actual multiple different strategies that we have when it comes to getting results for our, for our realtors. And I'm gonna show you the basic strategy that we implement at the very beginning. So it's called the large campaign model, the large ad set. It's just one ad set, one campaign. I don't know the exact name for it, but it's essentially just developing one campaign, one ad set and one ad and allocating all the budget towards that. So we obviously have plan Bs and different things that we'll do if that doesn't work for that realtor in that area but I'm just gonna be going over this one strategy. There's the eight ad set method, which is something Joel Kaplan does and something that I also love doing. Then there's switching up the creative, switching up the copywriting and a bunch of different things that you can do if things aren't going to plan. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys our main strategy and honestly, what works the best for our clients. Now the creative that I'm gonna be showing you guys that we use has been split tested against hundreds of other creatives and this specific creative has gotten the best click-through rate. It's pretty simple and what I explain to all of our realtors in our discovery calls is that we don't care if it takes us five minutes to develop or eight hours to develop. If it's getting results, it's getting results. I don't really care if it's not the prettiest or if it's not like I say in my sales calls, if you guys have watched those Super Bowl commercial quality, like we don't look for any of that. If it's getting results, it's getting a good cost per lead, then we're gonna run it. But Without further ado, let's jump onto the laptop and actually build out one of these campaigns. So I'm just on a default ad account here and I'm gonna be walking you guys through the process of developing one of these campaigns and what I would go about doing. So obviously click the big green button that says create. I'm gonna be creating a lead campaign. So we're gonna click continue. And then what I do is I name this the overall goal of the campaign and everything that I'm doing. So I'll basically do lead campaign. And then I do things like instant form, open targeting and manual placements. Well, I'll show you what all that is in the next step. And then I'll do single image home collage. Select the housing category. And all of this stuff is irrelevant for the campaign that we're gonna be running, so I'm not gonna go through everything. So you can just skip all this, and that's all you need to do. Then what I do is I name this. So IF stands for instant form. That's the goal of what we're pushing for. And then I'll say the city that I'm targeting in. So SSM 50 miles, which is the maximum radius that you can do and then manual placements. So we selected instant forms, we selected the page, you're gonna do your budget, you could do $20 a day, $25 a day. I have low ticket packages where I do $10 a day and then I have high ticket packages where I'm going up to $25, $30 a day. But just max out the budget on this campaign. I don't do end dates or anything along those lines because I'm constantly looking at these campaigns 
every single day. So I don't, I'm not worried about something going on forever. Then put your location. So like I said, we're doing Sault Ste. Marie. Such a small town, doesn't even come up. <laughs> so you're gonna max out the radius to 50 miles. As you can see, they already estimated the leads we're gonna get. Manual placements. So basically what this means is you're gonna manually tell Facebook where you wanna place your ads. So like Instagram stories, Facebook stories, just because a lot of this stuff is irrelevant and it will just waste the budget placing it in useless spots. So uncheck audience network, uncheck all this stuff. And you're gonna go into here, get rid of that. You're gonna just have Instagram and Facebook stories and then just have Instagram feed and Facebook feed. That's optimal for the budget and those four get the best results. And not just, I haven't just split tested this, a bunch of other agency owners and you know massive realtors have done this and that's the best for getting results and saving the most budget. So that's all you have to do for that, click next. Then name this home collage, uncheck multi-advertiser ads, add in your media. So I don't have a thing ready to go. Oh, actually I can use this one. This is an older home collage style ad, but you get the idea, just update it, do a different sort of collage style. And then you're going to add in your text, which for me, I'll do a buyer and seller text here. So you add that in. This is one text we do for buyers and sellers. Learn more, create your form. I'm not gonna go through the process of creating a form, but you can just simply create one. And then that's it, you can run your ad. So I'll show you what my form looks like and the text I have in it. I'll just take you through this process real quick have that stuff, your privacy policy, and then thanks you're all set, you'll receive a message from us shortly. So that's the campaign we created. It's, it's pretty simple. Everyone thinks it has to do with developing the campaign, but a lot of it is the back end work. Like what happens after a lead comes in? All the SMS and email drip campaigns, the ISA reaching out to these people, trying to book an appointment with them, the script. Um, you know, how do you integrate and connect the CRM with Facebook? coming up with all the co different styles of copywriting, like what copywriting works good for the ad. So it's not so much just developing the campaign. A lot of it has to do with the creative, the copywriting, what you're doing after you actually receive the lead. But just to show you guys the basic campaign that works for us, for us and what we run, so you guys can start implementing this and hopefully works for you. But I appreciate you guys coming back to watch another video. Before you leave, subscribe, like, comment down below, and uh, I appreciate being here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.